some very unusual kind of buried vim commands. Some of them are pretty useful, some of them are almost useless, but they're quite funny and interesting. All right, so three that I didn't know about for a long time are the left, right, and center commands. So if I select a paragraph with VIP, you can do colon center and then center all the text. Let me zoom out actually. You can see it's all like center aligned. And then same thing, here's another tip for people that don't know this already is GV to reselect your last visual selection. So then I can do like left and then it aligns it all like that or, you know, right. So that one, honestly, it's not the most useful for me at least. Maybe if you're like a writer, it would be useful. I can't really see though, cause it's like, depending on how wide the buffer is and you can set that with stuff, but it's just kind of like a weird arbitrary thing to do. Another one is if you ever want to reverse an entire thing, what you can do is percent sign, and this will run a command on the whole file, and then G to run, this is called the global command, but we want to match on everything. So what I'm going to do is slash and then dot, which means just any character, and then clany star, which means any number of times, and then slash, and we're going to send that to the command move, which you can just say zero, or just M, and then, yeah, pass zero to it. And what this will do is for every line, it'll go through one by one and move it to zero. So this will actually reverse the whole file. So you can now see it looks kind of weird, but yeah, the file is completely backwards. So that's just a fun little trick. If you ever need to do that, almost never happens, but there you go. One thing that I also found out about recently, there's a bunch of different registers, clipboards, basically. Most people will know about the unnamed one that's just like you access it with quote and then plus you can actually insert them in insert mode with control r and then if i do plus it'll insert it or if i do control r and then you know anything like i can do the last few registers zero is the last thing pasted but there's a couple others that i didn't know about the dash register inserts the last thing deleted by a small command, which is just like delete word. So if I delete target like this, D-I-W, and then I want to paste it again, I can do shift, I mean quotes, and then dash, and then paste, and then it'll paste from there. And you can actually see a list of all of them with reg, or I think also display maybe, yeah. You can see, hopefully I don't have any leaked API keys in there or anything, but yeah. So those are cool ones. Another command is intro, which is kind of, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but it just puts you back in the welcome message. Maybe you have like a dashboard with that plugin, whatever that's called. But yeah, that's kind of a cool one. One that I like because it's my initials is SF, and this just means split and then find. So it, it'll look for, it'll look for like just another, let's see what files are in this directory. I guess uh, video.lewis, you could do SF and then video and then tab, and then it'll just split like that. So that's kind of a combination of like split and then the find command, of course, which is a little bit like edit. There's a couple differences to it, but they're, they do somewhat the same thing. And then let's see, another interesting one. Have you ever like selected something visually and then typed a colon? And you see down here, there's these two little things. Have you ever wondered what those are? They're actually, they're marks. You know, like the things you can jump to is like M, A, M, back tick, whatever. They're marks, but they're automatically created for you. And this means the last visual mode or the last, the start of the last visual selection and the beginning, which means you can actually go to them when you're not highlighting something. And that's how the command GV works to reselect an area. But say that I want to go to the beginning of that visual area, I can actually just type back tick and then this symbol like the, the little angle bracket. So yeah, you can travel between them like that. Occasionally quite useful. And those are inserted automatically. Another way you can go between them is to just type back tick twice, which just goes like toggles between the last two things, or you can do double quote or single quote twice. That also will switch you between the last two. And yeah, those are just kind of created automatically. There's a couple of other automatically created marks. There is, there, there's one for the last change, which I believe if you read, yeah, it's go insert, insert, 
yeah, it takes you into insert mode at the last and then caret mark. So basically all it's doing is if I type something local this equals that, and then I want to go back there, GI will take me back there, but I can also travel back there with back tick and then it's the caret. And it's interesting. There's like just a lot of like marks that are automatically created for you. I recommend reading the whole marks page and you can just use those to kind of travel around. The main ones are like the last delete, the last edit, the last visual selection. And so, yeah, also if you ever wondered like what those little like pointer things, I, I knew there were the visual area, but I didn't quite understand how they fit in. And it's because there's an auto command that's like just setting up those marks throughout every buffer you're in. Yeah, hopefully you learned some new weird Vim tips from this one.